A new study by Stanford University shows pandemic stress physically aged teenagers' brains. In this Learning Curve report, CBS 8's Shannon Handy spoke with one of the researchers as well as a local psychiatrist about these concerning findings. Doctors here at Rady Children's Hospital have long said the pandemic impacted kids' mental health. This new study further proves that. This is significant because it's the first demonstration of physical alterations in the brain as a function of having experienced the pandemic. Ian Gottlieb is a professor of psychology at Stanford University. He's one of the researchers behind a new study which found the brains of teens around the age of 16 who were assessed after the pandemic shutdowns ended appeared several years older than those of teens who were assessed before the pandemic. Until now, those accelerated brain changes have only been seen in children experiencing chronic adversity such as neglect and family dysfunction. So to see a study that's actually showing structural changes in brain structure was fascinating and really adds another layer to the discussion we've been having for the last two years. Dr. Willow Jenkins is the director for emergency and consultation liaison psychiatry at Rady Children's Hospital, where this year alone 5,000 kids have visited the emergency department with mental health concerns. She says this study highlights the need to further address the issue. We cannot become complacent thinking that, oh, because the stressors stabilize, we don't need to do more. This is the time that we need to step in, get into the school Schools, find these children and really work at doing everything we can to improve their mental health. The study was not originally designed to look at the impact of COVID-19 on brain structure. Before the pandemic, Stanford had recruited a cohort of children and adolescents to analyze depression during puberty. Shifting gears, they decided to compare those brain scans to ones taken of kids the same age after lockdowns. Moving forward, Gottlieb and his team will continue to assess these same teens into early adulthood to find out whether or not those changes are permanent and if so, what mental health challenges they present, if any. To see if this is continuing or if this was a short-term reaction to the stress of a pandemic. Dr. Jenkins says she's eager to learn more, suggesting researchers also look at the brains of younger children, as well as those from various socioeconomic backgrounds. I think anything that's showing this type of change in children's brains leads to so many questions. So I'm incredibly interested to follow along with the study and to see more things coming out, looking more at this in detail. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.